What's up guys, this is the Roseman and I am back with you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Greece. So to round off where we left off last time, we are sallying forth from Athens to beat back another Ottoman stack. We've got lots of cavalry and some competent infantry. Uh, yeah, my, my conscripts can actually outshoot their Israelis. So we might have a chance here, but we are going to deploy aggressively to meet them on the field because we um, not attack. So we're probably going to want to deploy out, outfield. Have um, our mortars be neutered uh, in the city. I mean, not that they're very powerful anyway, but you know, it, we want to have as much. Ah, so you, mm, their bulk of the forces must be that way, then, if they've positioned us in this direction. So let's put. Water's there. Let's do one heavy, one decent infantry flank that's going to do a lot of the work. One more conscripty flank, whose job is just to not die. Backed by splinter force on the flank with these chaps doing something. And then let's deploy an artillery unit to lob shells over their heads. Uh, so not quite the deployment, but let's get my artillery hitting. Yeah, that artillery. So one. And let's deploy you guys out on your flank. Let's get aggressive with you. These guys can these guys can run around being as defensive as they like. So they're getting hit. So I was really con oh, okay. Okay, hold on. Move, 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 move. Okay. Let's fall them back. And where's my pike armed infantry? Bashi bazooks are bad news. They are melee infantry. So I absolutely do not want to get caught out with them. So that line's moving up. Oh, carabiners. Let's bring the carabiners out. So the Cerellis have hit our line. Let's take advantage of this momentary ourselves Do this you get you get these irregular spin around and open up on them Dummies. My guys are routing now because of that. Commit them into the combat. Let's 
hit the rear of the Seminis. Okay, let's start to bring these guys back over to do something useful over here. You hit the back of the Semini unit. Let these Greek infantry immediately into the next combat. Straight into the Mamelukes to provide them support. Ashi Bazooks are returning. Some engineers are retreating. Retreat. No way, you are not. into them as long as you can. You guys in against the Zemindari Horsemen, you against this unit of Zemindari Horsemen. Let's get this three unit just to keep firing a canister into there. Charge them from the rear, get you to stop firing. Canister and say aim at the artillery on the flank. You guys charge that unit of horsemen. You get ready to support this unit of conscript on the right. So we've got them surrounded, which All of you focus on that unit at the back because you're probably causing yourself, causing us much more problems than solutions. Just get all of you to hit the new Viserelis. This is a big gamble. get the route that get the rock to start. Let's get some foot into the line, I need to get everything I can. difference will be made. Firing into the combat. Okay, round shot again. Keep committing my units because we may win in the end. Start skirmishing this line unit over here. They've routed, good. Bring this conscript unit back. Okay, everyone hit that last remaining. Oh, phew. Everyone form a decent line. Start hitting them, get my kit on. Main artillery start going after this artillery piece. They 
They are retreating. Okay, so my strongest units are my armed citizenry and my conscripts. In which case, then, let's position you in my new centre. Let's position these chaps out on the right. What range of you got? 120, so probably slightly better than this unit of infantry. Just in range to well, we shift just a little bit more. To start skirmishing. And then off you go. And these guys are the subject to all of my artillery fire. And they are wavering. Yeesh. This has been, it was this fight. This fight over here was the make or break. Because we, we surrounded them and had them trapped. But it was very much a... We need to break them quickly. So we needed to start that chain routing. Maybe it might have been better for the explosive shells for some of the fighting, but to be honest, it does. Let's just triple speed it, because right now... They are quite content to get peppered with bullets from my skirmishes. probably going to turn off my artillery fire as I move up more infantry, because right now that's not doing anything except uh, killing me. Oh, this is just a unit of fire like I'm citizenry. Not engage in combat at all. There we go. A slight death delay from the hill, but seen you doing the job, and they will break, as all of their comrades did. Shattered. Perfect. Yeesh. End it. That was worse than I would want. Ever again. God, yeah, they lost more than us, but... Whew. And we cannot immediately withstand another siege. So... This is the struggle of Greece. And I require you to steal fire by rank. That's what I need. I cannot do any research for I just have Greece or just have Egypt unless I sue for peace which is an option you know what I think it might be the best option so I want to sue for peace and head west and start to try and secure um, some of the Barbary states. Although we are at war, we're not we're at peace with the Barbary states, but Barbary states aren't allied with anyone and everyone hates them. So let's try peace and trade. Uh, no. I will not give you Egypt. Egypt is my only hope. That is not negotiable. So right now Egypt is my only source oh, oh no Spain don't. good okay Spain attacks me now I I this I, this could be a dead campaign because I'm against the Ottoman I've got no money I'm just about scrapping with the Ottomans to keep me alive even the North African coast isn't very valuable it could still it will still provide me with some money 
see, oh, see, now they want Egypt. I just have to thank my lucky stars. They seem to be happy with Sarajevo and the Austrians haven't then just rolled on. Because they want Egypt. Everyone wants Egypt. But they're not going to get it. Because... I won't let them. Because... Oh, yeah the, yeah, the Ottomans are just becoming... Okay, the Ottomans, I have to say, are too strong. Currently. So there's a few ways a I can try. Yes! Not yet been yes, he stole it. The he stole it. 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 Perfect. 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 Firstly, you guys need to replenish, and that's going to take all of my money. And you guys replenish. Okay, let's take all of my money. But if I meet them on the field, now I have fire by rank. I feel a lot more confident. So let's try and get him to steal socket bayonet. Good. That is really, really big. Okay, what I might actually know what I might have him try steal is oh, I can't because I don't I haven't got a school. Yep, it's gonna have to be socket bayonet to increase my melee stats. Perfect. Guys replenished because I can't recruit. Ah, because I have fire bank, I can recruit can recruit fusiliers in future turns. Which while they're not they they're not good for the for the beyond late game, they do at least give me a very accurate, very good shooting unit. So let's hit end turn again. Okay, now I feel now I've got fire by rank. I feel confident if I lost either Cairo or Athens. I would feel suitably strong on the battlefield to actually be able to braid some effect. But of course that remains to be seen. Uh, how long the longevity of this campaign. That just provides me such a massive firepower advantage. A temporary advantage now, but will eventually become uh, parity. Yep, good. Just stay hold up in your territories. Oh, good. <gasps> the French are coming! Oh, yes. Oh, wait a minute. Is that good? Sort of. They're not advancing the broad front, but I might want to get friendly with the French, because I don't want them to come after me too. So the Ottomans are building a new army. Good, they're falling back. That is ideal. It gives us time to replenish. So yeah, uh, I, still, I, I went off, off on a tangent. Um, so those Fusilier units I can recruit in Athens, they're enough to provide me with a decent army in Europe. There still might be some questions about how I protect my territories because I'm not going to recruit line infantry on mass unless I'm consistently ferrying it up from Cairo to the Balkans. Um, which is doable. It's not ideal, but it's doable. Is that the Swedes? Let's see if I can get peace and trade with the with the Austrians now. Gentlemen in Egypt. Agent, gentlemen, go to your school. And now let me start recruiting. So let's no start re start researching. It's probably going to be, even though I am trying to steal it. There's no point in me doing industry because I've not really got. Oh, measuring tool. Uh, yeah, that re that research might be quite handy. Okay, so you need to 
get ready to rock and roll. Because you're going to get a unit of... Oh, can I not wait? Can I not actually recruit Fusiliers? Oh, okay. I can in, I can in Europe. Okay. So I might want to recruit a unit of guards here to help bolster my garrison. But I want to I want, I want to advance in this camp in this theatre. So I'm probably going to want to build ordnance factory to get me twelve pounders because they are just better than these. Yeah, the, the longer range. They're less accurate, but they're longer range and have more firepower. So while this is an interesting cool unit for Greece, it's just it doesn't it just doesn't compare. Or do I just recruit some more? I've got three units of artillery, a bunch of line. Do I recruit some cavalry? Some dragoons. So they're yeah, cavalry dragoons more than anything. Well, they they are more shooty dragoons, I suppose. Desert camels? Not desert camels. Not really. Or you get a colonial light and a colonial line. Then I will engage and start driving the Ottomans back. Because even though they got they got some decent units, I've now got fire by rank, which is really really big. Agent executed. Ah, oh, they finally found the Greek guy in Jerusalem. Okay, so Cairo's still becoming orthodox, which will get rid of religious unrest. As long as you don't like my the fact that I've got this here, but I'm going to build a royal observatory. Saxony's destroyed, so diplomacy. Austria, we're very friendly, so it's peace. But do we not have a... We do have a border with you. But where's your new capital? Prague. Oh, come on. I'm not going to request peace with you. And we're trading with everyone. <gasps> Where's all this trade come from? Oh, Patras has finally been opened up. So I'm getting six grand next turn. Which is lovely. Let's hit end turn. And I'm definitely going to want to put uh, a Sh Alexandria to maintain the security of my harbour. It's unfortunate the Sish are doing what they're doing. But I suppose the saving grace of the Austrians is that now the French have provided a new threat. So while they weren't focusing it on me, because they were happy with Sarajevo, they are now at least looking at the French with their... with lustful eyes. So yeah, if I can carve a little Middle Eastern Kingdom out, then I'll feel a lot more safe. The Austrians have recaptured Vienna. And they demand... No, you have nothing to demand. You, you carry on, sir. God, that's all I need is the, the Marathas showing up. Comes another Ottoman army, and another Ottoman army. But this is their main army now, coming up. To be honest, if my army's in good nick, I may venture out and engage them. Because I have fire by rank. My infantry is an absolute massacre. Massacre. Rah, 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 rah. Rah, 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 rah. Um, it's very good. Let's just say that. So the Swedes are finally marching on the Danes. God, the Swedes have nice infantry. Oh. Lovely infantry, delicious infantry. Um, num, num, num. But they're also fighting against the Russians, so meh. I fought against Russia a lot in my campaigns. I'm fighting against them now is France. I'm fighting against there them is a port in, in, in this region. Is, is America. Has not yet been developed. Yep, calm yourself. Okay, so you guys have replenished. One more turn, the guards will be done. Let's get two of fusiliers to start to build up this army. 
you chaps. Bid of recruit. Oh, yeah, you do need replenishment, that's for sure. That's for darn sure. Let's go cannon foundry and... No, that's really good. Really good for tech, so I'm going to need that observatory. Then I'm going to recruit a... The cheapest... Okay, the sloop is the cheapest, and it costs the least to... Ah, I've got some special Greek Navy ships, but they're not going to be recruited, not for a while. Yes, I can build you, but I want to... I can't build new roads. But I can recruit another... I can try and recruit another Fusilier unit. Yeah, so at least these guys are back up and ready. For these guys, they have one artillery piece. No, it's all very samey, but I need to get this. Ah, oh. ah, oh. Britain's not trading with me again. So I'm back on, back on to low trade. Peace and trade. Do I try threaten them? They don't like my acts of espionage, but then maybe they shouldn't be such poopy heads and and invade me. Yep, socket bayonet again. And let's try. I don't want to. I don't want to move out. I want to spend one more turn replenishing, so they might try lay siege to me. But I don't know how. Oh, geez, I don't know how to. I don't know how well a wooden fort defends. And they can go around here, but they won't make it to Cairo in a turn, so... Okay, I think we should be safe. And then we'll engage them on the field and push them back, hopefully enduring less casualties, and then be able to more immediately push in on uh, Jerusalem. Then hopefully spend some more money to update, upgrade my army in Greece, and then use that to be able to push out. Well, maybe not even push out. Just, just hold. Just hold Athens while I start unpicking the Ottomans from... Oh, good. Oh, good. Well, all that doom and gloom. I was expecting to be to having another siege and another field battle, but, you know, they seem to have backed off, which might give me an opportunity to advance on Jerusalem, which would be pretty neat. Ah, oh, the Danes have beat back the Swedes. Good. See, Iceland is a, is an independent territory, but I just I'm not going to put any sort of army on a ship and sail it through the Med because it's asking just to get blown out of the water by someone. I can't afford to waste troops like that. Okay, so that was pretty darn ideal. So if I move out, there are currently no troops out, stationed at this fort. As things stand, okay. it could easily be occupied. It very could easily be occupied, but we shall not hold our breath. Okay, right. So Athens, I need the Royal Observatory to increase my tech research ability. Can't assume it's you. You're upgrading with some decent units. You may as I may as well upgrade you to a craft. Or, oh no, actually it's not. No, it's owned by Sweden. Um, let's upgrade these. Upgrade it to a seminary to help convert people here. And because I'm an absolute monarchy, I might take advantage of the fact the royals, the upper classes, love me and tax the bejesus out of them. Although actually no, now you're. Now you're shrinking, actually. Let's keep it here, because I want you to still be growing. Education is going to help them grow a lot. Roads, enlightenment, ministers. Aswan is growing, which would be nice. Last Suez. Where's Aswan? Down here. Yeah, so hopefully get that into another industrial building. But I think... I wonder if I do this. Nope, I was hoping... Wow, that's a lot more dead than I would have liked. 
Does merge work in this game? Nope. So let's do a bit of this. Well, what? Okay, it's absolutely not letting me do that. Uh, okay, I might actually pull back. <laughs> might actually pull back and let's cancel this to make sure I get my troops back. Or as many as I can, at least. Let's hit and turn again. Because I didn't want to run around them because that would involve them causing me some trouble or raiding some of my some of my villages, which obviously I don't want. So I'm hoping... Or at least imminently. No, not that. Oh, but what about trade? Whoa. They're moving in. So we are absolutely going to fight this, but looking at the timer, I think that may be the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for an open field battle against the Ottomans. Radio, see you guys.